The asteroid belt is filled with regular old space rocks, but some of them like to show off. Take the recently discovered asteroid with not one, but six tails sticking out like the spokes of a wheel. I'm Sophie, and welcome to the countdown. A dust tail normally follows a comet, but despite multiple dust streamers, the object dubbed P2013P5 is actually an asteroid. Astronomers think it started spinning fast enough to eject surface material as dust. Then radiation pressure from the sun molded the dust into tails, which change continuously as the asteroid rotates. This month, India made a huge step in the space race and launched a craft towards Mars. If the Mars Orbiter Mission, or MOM, reaches the Red Planet in 300 days as planned, India will be the fourth nation with a successful Mars mission. In addition to the scientific achievement, MOM marks an economic accomplishment. Although the mission's price tag of $73 million sounds like a lot, it's actually less than some commercial airplanes. And compared to the $300 million India is spending on a statue of a politician, this Martian voyage is cheap indeed. The Kepler mission has detected many extrasolar planets, but how many are like Earth? According to a new analysis, there are billions. In the Milky Way alone, one in five sun-like stars has an Earth-sized planet orbiting in its habitable zone. That's the region at just the right distance for water to exist in liquid form. And that means our galaxy could hold 40 billion planets the size of our own. Unfortunately, that 40 billion includes both rocky planets like Earth and overheated gas planets with thick atmospheres. Not all of them can support life. Back in February, there were plenty of observers to watch a meteor explode over Chelyabinsk, Russia. Thanks to eyewitnesses and video footage, researchers have calculated the meteor's path and the details of its explosion. Researchers used the videos to trace the trajectory of the meteor, drawing a path that matched up well with satellite imagery. Based on the accounts of those who felt the explosion's shockwave, it released roughly as much energy as 500 kilotons of TNT. The scientists also learned this type of event could be more frequent than we thought. The far side of the moon has a secret. It's covered in more craters than the near side. The near side, on the other hand, has more of the large, shallow indents known as basins, and a new study might tell us why. In the early days of the solar system, the near side of the moon was both warmer and softer. When ancient asteroids crashed into the moon, they produced craters all over its surface. But on the near side, gooey lava flows filled up the craters and transformed them into basins. And that's your countdown. Links to all of these stories are in the description below. Also, don't forget to visit the Space Lab channel on YouTube and subscribe. For Scientific American, I'm Sophie Bushwick.